to the Goose Club. I'm Ariana. I'm Darby. And I'm Abby. And we are going to be doing an experiment with Mentos and soda. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to place a mint in this tube and then we're going to release this and it's going to explode. Safety first. <laughs> okay. All right, you release it. Oh, oh yeah, wait, wait. On this. <sighs> okay. So science. Okay. Ready, you want to pull the trigger? Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, set, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. That one's way higher than Whoa, I thought yeah, it was. I know. Oh my goodness. Okay, I did not expect table. that. Wow. We'll just put the rest of these in there. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens with this. Maybe it only works I with I don't know. But I feel like it would work with anything. Because, well, I don't see. know. It might be something like special green coat that reacts with the yeah. Mentos. Woo. Okay, which one do you think is going to go the highest? I think mine is, because look at how bubbly it is. Oh, that's It's like so... already really bubbly. Yeah, okay, let's let's put three on each. Okay. okay. Mm, I'm kind of nervous. I'm worried. I hope mine bubbles at all. Okay. okay. Ready? Wait, hold on. We'll all go at the okay. same time. Ready? On the okay. count of three. One, one two, two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little late there. Oh, oh I think a little late. <laughs> Oh, it's going, it's going. Oh, oh no, <laughs> the red one. one is so pretty. The red one's really Whoa, pretty. Look, look, it's like look how cool this is. <gasps> it's like mixing Whoa, in the I green. Still want that. Guys, be careful, it's seeping over. Oh my gosh, it smells oh, this so makes good. Purple. That looks so, so cool. So the red and blue make purple, yeah. and then the blue and yellow make green. So we have root beer and seven up. I think personally that root beer is gonna go super high. Really, I think it's the seven up. It might be a kind of good taste. Is that weird? <laughs> I think it might be good. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. <gasps> oh! oh. <Whoa. laughs> oh my god! I was oh wrong. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! I was completely wrong. Seven up went so high. Oh my gosh! Okay, well, I was wrong. <laughs> that went way higher than I, I did not think that seven Ooh, up would go. This? Wow. So I'm actually thinking cream soda for this. I'm gonna go with the crush. Crush doesn't look very bubbly though. The fan has been doing well, so yeah. I don't know. We They're both fruity. We haven't tried crush yet, so. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Exactly, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? okay. One, One, two, three. three. Look at this mix though, that's pretty. Coke isn't the only thing you can this do this This going one. on for a oh, long yeah. time though. For the grand finale, we are going to be doing Diet Coke. Now, legend has it, this is the most reactive, and I'm really excited. We are going to be putting a lot of Mentos in this, and I hope it goes really high. Yeah. Perfect. On two. Yeah, do as many as possible. Thank you. Oh, I think seven's the limit. Okay. Right. <laughs> Let's screw this on. I will pull it. Yeah, you okay, got wait. it. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? Wait. Okay, ready? Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> no! That was crazy. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Okay, by far that was the that was best. That was the worst. I think that was like 10 one. feet up. That was incredible. That was crazy. Oh so try gosh. this at home. It's yeah. so much fun. Yeah. So the Diet Coke was definitely the most explosive. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Jesse and these are my boys, the Ruckus, Diego, Zion, and Kingston. Should you guys say hello? Hello. Hey. Today we got a really cool treat. Uh, We're gonna open some Pokemon cards. You ready? I'm gonna make it rain Pokemon cards. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, everybody pick one. Okay, you got one? Get us. Get us. Alright, Zion's opening his card. Let's see what's in there. Oh, I got Shifter. And this guy is Blaster. Boyster. Boyster. 
Oh my gosh! Mm. You got a break! You got a what? Zion, you I have got no a idea break. what you guys are talking yes. about. Can you guys help tell them what you're Oh, Mommy X! Man, it's a scratchy <laughs> card. Man, you guys you are got your first, about you got these. his first DX. Whoa, I have no idea what that means, but that's exciting. Man, you got your first DX. <laughs> Diego's gonna open his now. Our first DX. Right, what would you get? Oh, I didn't get any X. No? Oh, I got a break. Diego, you, know, you got the same guy as me. Hey, Except what's your favorite thing about? These cards. I'm trading. 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 Yeah, trading. All right. Where's the card you guys got really excited about? Um, I got a break, Green Ninja. Here's the break. And let's move on to this guy, Frogador. Frogador. What color is that? Blue. Crocodile. And of course, again, the Green Ninja. Man, you break. really like that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a card. Travis. What colors are on that card? These green. Green? Which one's your favorite one from those things then? Mm, all of them. All of them? Okay. I got a guard chomp, ducklet, a trainer potion, palette toad. And then I got the ramp. It looks like it's tired or old. Then I got a trainer, bursting balloon. Trainers can sometimes help you with your cards. How do they help you with your cards? They can help your cards like get stronger because they're trainers. Oh, nice. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, Mother Goose Club. I'm Gianna. And I'm Ethan. And today, we're going to be doing a scientific puzzle. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to balance 11 nails on this one nail. Let's get started. We could probably do this and you can grab one and you could put it like this. You see that? And we could keep doing it and see if it works and put it on here and see if it works and what under so like to balance all of them. Well, let's try it. Here, I'll start on this side of it. This is just will work. Yeah. It seems impossible. So let's see if it's going to fall. Here, let's go ahead and let's put it on here. And maybe we could put two on it to balance it even better. Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, we need to balance them. Ugh. Yeah. Lay it on like the opposite side of this. Maybe we can go like this. Like, I think we should start stacking them like this, and then maybe we have to put one on top. Maybe it will like stabilize it, maybe. And put one like this. Yes, to hold that's it what all I'm saying. Together. It makes so much sense. So let's like even it out. somehow make it stable. I guess this is, bye. Bye. <sighs> oh, no. Attention, unsafe handling of borax may cause injury. Always ask an adult for help with science experiments and always wear protective gear. 
Hello friends, my name is Janet and here we are on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. <laughs> I am joined by my good friends and neighbors, Gianna and Ethan. Say hello to everybody. Hi. Hi. Now today, we're going to play Scientist. <laughs> yeah. All right, so whenever we play Scientist, I actually love for us to put on our lab coats. Now, we're also going to put on our safety goggles. So I have some safety goggles for you there. Every good scientist knows that you need to have your PPE, which is personal protective equipment. We wanna make sure if whatever we're making doesn't splash into our eyes. Now, another thing that we want to do before we make our Slime! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's I can't right. wait. We are going to make slime today, but again, every good scientist knows one must prepare if we're going to do the scientific method. So, preparation means that we need to start by putting something on our table. So, if you can just use this plastic tablecloth, and yeah, let's get it all covered. So, water, check. Borax, check. Glue, check, measuring cups, and now our mixing bowl. All right, so, oh, so here's one of the first things. Who would like to be the first person to measure out a half a cup of glue? Oh, you're great at measuring. Do you ever bake anything else? I've baked cookies before. I snickerdoodles. Oh, I've so made cookies with my cousin. You have? And so you got to measure out the ingredients when you make cookies, right? Do not ever make a cookie with glue. I'm just saying. So now, here's what I'm going to have you do. Will you, with this spoon, kindly put the glue into our bowl? Yeah? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to stir in about a half a cup of water. All right, so let's uh, let's just put about a half a cup of water in there, just like that. Now, I need you to add the water to the glue. All right, while you're doing that, let's think about adding some food coloring. Yay. Unfurl this, my dear, and add your food coloring there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh whoa. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's a nice green color. Look at this. While you're doing great on this, Gianna and I are going to complete another step. So I want you to add one cup of water into this bowl. All right. So again, we're making slime. We've got our glue and our water and our food coloring over here. We've got our one cup. Now I want you to add one teaspoon of borax. Just one teaspoon. You need me to pour that for you? Yes, please. All right. Now start stirring that for, oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's kind of getting a little milky. All right, so now, are we ready to really make some slime is what yes. I have to ask. So now, yes. here is the next step. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to slowly stir the glue mixture into this mixture. So can you move your bowl over here? Let's concentrate on the slowly part. So let's get the, that out of there as we can. Oh yeah, we don't wanna we don't wanna lose out on any of this slime. Would you look at yeah. there? Ooh, all right. So you know what? You know the best way to 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 test our slime? Oh. We reach in. We reach in. Come on, come on, scientist, you little mad scientist. Oh. You yes, go, go. Oh, this is awesome! <laughs> wow. Whoa! This is We're, awesome. Wow. You guys did good. Whoa. I can't believe, whoa, how did whoa. you do that, Ethan? Whoa, that's like an alien face in there. Uh, whoa. Whoa. All right, can I shake your hand? There's all kinds of things you can do with slime here. So, did everybody have fun being a scientist today? Yes. <laughs> so, um, I want you guys, what would you tell your friends out there about trying the slime? Uh, they should definitely try, try it, it because it's awesome. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into Mother Goose Playhouse today. We've had a blast making slime. Go be awesome and be a great scientist. Have fun, fun slimy!
Hey folks, I'm Jesse, and these are my boys, the Ruckus, Diego, Zion, and Kingston. Today we're gonna have a little Nerf fun out here, a little Santoyo boy superhero showdown. But before we do this, some rules. What do we not do? Do no. not shoot into the face. Do not and, shoot into the face. And no shooting in the eye. No shooting in the eye. And always point your gun down. Always remember that. Yeah, to be safe. We ready? Three, two, one, go! Hi Mother Goose Club! I'm Abby. I'm Ariana. I'm Darby. And today we're going to be making a lava lamp. All you really need is a 2 liter bottle, some vegetable oil, a funnel to pour in the vegetable oil, as well as some water and food coloring, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet, or if you don't have that, you can just use salt. The first thing we're going to do is add oil, water, and food coloring and we're gonna fill the bottle three-fourths of the way full with vegetable oil and then just top it off with water. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Yeah, I love lava lamps. I think they're so cool. Three-quarters of the way. So it's oh, more than half. Okay. okay, and then we're just gonna top it off with water. So we're gonna add about 10 drops of food coloring or until it appears fairly dark. I'm gonna do this green. So I'm gonna do pink on the pink. Hmm. Ah, just the yellow. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, that's <gasps> really cool, Darby. Whoa. Should I add a little bit more? Let's see, does it come out fast? I'm start with this and then see what happens. That's cool. I think I'm gonna add oh. um, a little bit of blue. We're gonna want an Alka-Seltzer tablet or salt. And if you're using a salt shaker, just sprinkle it in for about five seconds. Oh, <gasps> Whoa. look at this purple! Whoa. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, I love that. I hope I'm breaking it up enough. This is like a really dark purple, or like a dark blue. Oh, but it looks look so at this. cool. Oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, so I might have added these a are really cool. too much blue. Yeah. This would be fun for a spin the night party. Yeah, yeah. that would be really fun for, for a good activity to do with friends. Whoa. 
I really liked it. It's so cool. It's I know. Cool. I'm gonna put a few more dots of yellow. It's still really dark. Oh, well, yours looks really cool. That's cool. It's like a it, galaxy. It is. It is like. I galaxy. still have some on the bottom. Some food coloring oh, on yeah, the bottom. Oh yeah, you do. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, look at the pink. Oh, cool. Whoa. That is really cool. It's yeah, just I so love pretty. It. Whoa, that looks so cool. <laughs> do you think I should add more or do you think it's good? Um, it's a little dark. I don't know. It is dark. But under a flashlight, it might look good. <gasps> oh, yeah. We are going to be adding glitter. And then we're going to add another alka seltzer into it. Yeah. Because we really liked it when it started to. Um, should I shake it up and then put the. Um, Tablet yeah, I'm gonna do that so it's like. Oh, so it's really sticks to you. Pushed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hey, art is messy. <gasps> I like it. Oh, it looks good. It makes it really shine. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, now it's getting really dull. Whoa, okay. yours got so dark. Yours is like it. a galaxy lava lamp. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna add one another. One. Uh, oh, <laughs> alpha. Seltzer. Okay, okay, are we gonna put the... Love it. Okay, I'm putting it in right now. Seltzer number two. It's not... Oh, there it goes. <gasps> there it goes. So cool. I'm gonna try it with the first one. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. I love it. Oh, cool. I think ours are pretty much done. Yeah. And all we have to do is put a flashlight under it. Ooh, see what happens. It's fun. Yeah. It's easy, yeah. too. Okay. I want to make more. more. I know. I love I this. Just, I love this. I think right. for for the next time, if you just add a couple drops of yeah, one color, I think it'll yeah. be really cool. Let's try it. Cool. They look so awesome. Yeah, these are all great. I think it turned out pretty well. Yeah. yeah. So that's how you make a lava lamp at home. You should totally try this. We had so much fun. Bye, Mother Goose Club. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we're performing Johnny Johnny Yes Papa. Let's meet our players. I'm Katie, and I'll be playing Johnny. I'm Luke, and I'll be playing Johnny too. And I'm Arthur, and I'll be playing Papa. Ready, set, let's go! Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Papa? Eating sugar? No, Papa. Telling lie? No, Papa. Open your mouth? Ha, ha, ha. Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Papa? Eating chocolate? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Papa? Eating ice cream? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Open your mouth? Ha, ha, ha. You kids 
are really sneaky. I think you need a break from sweets for a little while. I just don't want you to get a tummy ache. Eating lots of sugary sweets can get you really sick. Okay. We're sorry we lied. Hey, maybe we should brush our teeth now. The dentist told me that eating too much sugar can give our teeth cavities. Ew, I don't want to have holes in my teeth. Good idea, but maybe we should finish that ice cream first. We don't want it to melt and go to waste, do we? Hooray! Thanks for joining us, Mother Goose Club. You can put on your own Johnny Johnny Yes Papa plays at home. Bye! Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! Hi everyone, and welcome to Outer Space. I'm here with my friends and fellow space explorers, Natalie and Victoria. Today, we're having a special space-themed playhouse challenge. What's all this spaghetti and marshmallows for? Great question! For today's challenge, we're going to see who can build the tallest rocket ship out of marshmallows, spaghetti, kite string, and masking tape. You're each gonna be able to use a yard of kite string, a yard of masking tape, and spaghetti, 20 pieces of them. There's one rule, you're not allowed to skewer the marshmallow with the spaghetti. So, you have 10 minutes. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. On your marks, get set, blast off! <laughs> Alright, well, time is up. Victoria, please, talk me through your creation. In order to make my creation acceptable, yeah. I use the broomstick method, where you tie a bunch of spaghetti together. That way it fans out in a nice way, so that at the top of the broomstick, you have a nice little seating area for your marshmallow. Quite creative. And Natalie, please, what was going on through your head as you were building your creation? Uh, well, I was kind of worried that it was going to fall over and break. And the base did, but I wanted it to be sturdy so it could go into a pyramid so the astronaut could sit right there. And then I built an extension really high up. Very smart. Now, we all know the rules. The rocket ship that was the highest wins, but the two marshmallows had to be higher in order to truly win. So for this challenge, both of you won. Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> Well, that is all the time we have for today. We hope you enjoyed today's challenge. This is the Mother Goose Club Space Station crew signing off. See you next time. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.